Hi, I'm Audrey Gale and I do art. Today I want to talk to you about how I price my murals as a beginner muralist. I started completing a mural during the summer. Since then I have gotten a few more mural jobs. I've slowly begun building a portfolio and getting my mural business going. A lot of people have questions about how to price your murals, especially when you're just starting out. So I'm going to share with you what I have decided to do for my mural business, at least for now. What I've learned from my first mural is that it takes me a lot longer than I realized. A lot of muralists charge by the hour. And because I'm new, I'm not as quick as a more experienced muralist. I also, I have an idea about how long it's going to take, but it's just not very honed in. It's not um, as accurate as it might be for someone who's more experienced so I can't for sure say it's going to take x amount of hours to complete in order to come up with a price that way. Because of this I wanted to avoid using a price per hour system and instead decided on using a square footage system. Another thing I learned from doing my first mural is that it definitely matters more if it's outdoors versus indoors. I did my first mural in the middle of the summer. It was miserably hot. I think it took me a lot longer because of that. Another thing to consider when you're doing outdoor murals is that you're gonna have a variety of textures to work with. So I was painting on brick. Somebody else might be painting on wood. You might be painting on corrugated metal. These are all more difficult surfaces to paint on than a regular interior drywall. So I definitely factored that into the price. So the surface of your canvas and the environmental factors definitely have to come into play when it comes to your pricing. Something else that I've learned from my first couple of murals is that the level of detail definitely matters in terms of your pricing. Now this probably comes pretty obvious to most people. For me, it was figuring out what takes me longer to do versus other things. I found that just solid objects, forms, were really simple to quickly put up and make look good. Whereas lettering was definitely a lot more difficult, more time consuming, more detail oriented. So if I have a mock-up that has a lot of lettering, and a lot of detail if they want things to look more realistic or if they want things to really pop out giving like a 3d effect then they're going to be charged more than someone who just wants a more simplistic design so i want to share with you my starting prices for murals based off of size level of detail and whether it's indoor or outdoor now, of course, this is subject to change as I gather more experience. This is what I have for now, and I feel like it's pretty fair. I feel like it's pretty fair and definitely competitive for somebody looking for a muralist. So, for indoor murals with a simplistic design, I'm charging $15 per square foot. For an indoor mural with a more detailed, realistic design, I'm charging $20 per square foot. For an outdoor simplistic design, I'm charging $20 per square foot. And for an outdoor detailed design, I'm charging $25 per square foot. I really like this model because I think that the square footage pricing allows people to get a mural that's really nice and still within their budget just by maybe scaling back on design or the size. Now this price includes my labor cost, supplies, and a mock-up of the design. If things like a scissor lift are needed, travel expenses, that's separate. This is how I plan on pricing my murals for the time being. I think as I gain more experience, get a little bit faster, a little bit more honed in on the skill, I'll be charging more. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to charging a per hour rate once I get to be once I become more experienced in the field. But for now, I think the square footage really works for me. And I think it's going to work for a lot of customers looking for something that's cost effective and looking for something that's still beautiful, but still within their budget. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. I really hope you learned something from it. And I hope that this 
helps you figure out your pricing structure for your art business. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I make mural and art related videos all the time on this channel. So if you're into that sort of thing, please subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.